Yo, 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 what's good? We back at it, week five. The man to man picks. I'm one half for the man to man pod. Antoine Bate. Got my co host, D Butt. Yes, sir. It's the week. Hey, it's the week right here. He said it's the week. Hey, it's our first week with Blue Eye, man. Controlling hey. the picks. Shout hey, out let's Blue jump Wire, into man. it. Let's jump into yeah, it. Man. Hey, look, week four, man. You know, for me, it was, I was eight and eight against the spread, eight and eight against the money line. I can take that. I can take that. Yeah, man. I, I might just go ahead, bro. My fault. 40 and 25 overall. Mm -hmm. 35 and 30 against the spread. I'll take that each day, each night, baby. D yeah, but that's that's a, that's, a, that's a nice. You got a nice looking record over there, especially your money lines. Your head up's been on point. I don't know what I've been doing. Your spread, you 35 and 30. That's a good number right now at this point in the season. Week five, hey, this got to be the week for you, boy. Started hey. off good. Thursday night football, I think we're both on the Rams to win in the cover. Uh, so we're right about that. Uh, my last week, money lines stink, actually. Six and ten on, on straight up winners, which is, I don't even know how I managed to do that. And then uh, against the spread, I was actually nine and seven. So I take that all day. For um, sure. Overall in the season, 34 and 31. And then overall in the season with the spread, 33 and 32. So, hey, I'm winning. We winning. You know what I mean? We both winning right now. We ain't, we ain't no. So I take that. I take that's that right all that, now. That's we all in, that matters, baby. Winning you know record. I mean, we in, we, in the, we in the green. So uh, let's jump right into these, uh, to the picks this week, man. We already had Thursday night football. Like I said, Rams beat the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, matter of fact, before we get these picks, real quick. Russell Wilson out for an extended period of time, first time in his career. Geno Smith came in and played well. But uh, how you feel about that Seattle? It's that Seattle team these next five, six, seven, however many weeks they got to do without Russ. It's gonna get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that. Hey, you know, I want Geno Smith to come in and, and do his thing, and I think he did a great job stepping in. But um, I just think, as far as team wise, I think Russell really makes that team go on the offensive yeah. side of the ball. Um, not having him for an extended period of time, I think that's that's going to hurt. And then, obviously, you know, the defense defense really been up and down this year. So, um, I think it's going to hurt more, uh, Seattle. More, more especially with, yeah, yeah, especially in the division that they're in. Uh, they, can't, they, can't, they can't get too far behind. You know, you got Arizona playing well, um, the Rams playing well, and you got uh, San Fran. They're, they're in the hunt as well. So, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt Seattle. Yeah, I think it's going to hurt him as well, man. Uh, and like you said, Geno came in and played well. Uh, I like that he looked he looked prepared. He looked ready for his moment. You know, at, right. we talk about reps all the time on this pod. And at, I'm sure he's not getting many reps at all in practice, you know, with, with the actual game plan reps. But you can tell that he's taking uh, the mental reps, the walkthroughs, yep. the meeting, taking all that serious because he was more than prepared uh, to step in and perform. And I think he'll, you know, perform to the best of his ability. But – uh, will that be enough for what's around him on that Seattle team? I don't think so, not to um, to kind of keep at the pace. And they weren't playing that great, honestly, even with Russ yeah. in there. So I think this will hurt them, um, unfortunately. Hopefully they can figure out some things on that defense side of the ball, man. But, oof, yeah. outside of Diggs on that defense, Diggs and Wagner, it's, it's been looking ugly. It's been but, um, nah. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that started off our, um, our Thursday night on week five, and then this game will be 930 Sunday morning, first game in London since 2009. Didn't go over there last year. Uh, Jets, Falcons, technically the home team. They're favored by two and a half points this week. Who you got in this one? This is a tough one. It's going to be an ugly one, man. Um, Jets coming off their first win. Um, I'm going to go Jets. Woo! Go so you got Jets, Jets. So, obviously, you got Jets plus two and a half. Yes. Uh, I'm taking the Falcons. I'm taking the Falcons. Matt Ryan, uh, plus the points. I think they cover. Jets are coming off their first win. I just take Falcons. You know that London trip. You know I took it as as a rookie. It's just you know you got a rookie quarterback, a rookie head coach, a lot of moving parts. That's a long trip. Body, mind, got to get right, et cetera, et cetera. Matt Ryan have been there before. He wins this game. They cover. Patterson. Patterson been balling. Been balling. Uh, Pitts, I think Pitts has a big week this week as well. So I got the Falcons with the points. You're going the other way. Jets, back to back week. You done back picked the Jets. Back That's game. Back to back weeks, man. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that Jets front, man. That Jets front is humming, man. 
they humming. And I, I think this I think that last win could do a little something for um Zach Wilson's confidence. You know, uh, we know how winning he looked good. He looked real yeah, good. Yeah, he looked good. And I think that could do something for his confidence. But like you said, going to go going to London, um, I took I made that trip as well. Um, you definitely have to be ready mentally. Um, and hopefully Robert Salah got that team ready to go. But I got the Jets, like I said, two game winning streak. Hey, it's gonna be a long trip for whoever come back with one and four. I'm gonna tell you that much. It's much better to come back on that trip two and three than one and four. Uh, next game, Philadelphia Eagles at the Carolina Panthers. Panthers three and one, Eagles one and three. The Panthers are the home team and they're favored by three points. Who you got in this one? I got Panthers and I got them covering. Okay, you got Panthers plus the points. They just coming off the game where they got roughed up by the Cowboys. Um, I believe. C Mac is out for one yep. more week, right? Yep, yep. But well, it said he's um, I don't know if it was questionable or doubtful. Nine times out of ten, if you're doubtful, you're probably not going to play. Questionable, yeah. it could kind of be a game time decision. Um, I'm not exactly sure where he's at right now, but I don't, I don't see him playing this week. Yeah, I think, I think he'll be out this week as well. It's maybe the last week he's out. So I think the Panthers lose to Jalen Hurts. And the Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts, you know, he put up a fight last week, somewhat of a fight against that Chiefs, put up a lot of points, probably had one of his best games as a pro, as a starter, okay. against that Chiefs defense. Chiefs obviously put up too many points for him to get a win. But I think the Eagles, these are actually the two teams that the Cowboys just they whooped the Eagles' ass, and then they went and whooped the Pandas' ass. So uh, I'm going to say the Eagles come out. So I'm taking them against the spread plus but, three. But what I will tell you, this Carolina Panthers defense is not like that Chiefs defense. So, Eagles, they did play That's well. Fact. They did That's play good. Fact. But they looking at a differently, a total different defense when they talk about the Carolina Panthers. And I'm, I'm, not sure what, I don't, I'm not sure what Gilly going to do this week. But no, he out. He's he not coming he's off the puck after, week six, off the yeah. puck after week six. You're right about that. But with that front, Hey, it's a total Jack Thompson out too. Linebackers it's a, out. It's a total different beast, baby. They still got them boys up front, huh? Big, but I'm with the Eagles, man, because one I thing they can save you from a vicious pass rush. <laughs> we gonna see. It's an athletic quarterback. I got Hurts, man, against the spread with the points. Let's go, Hurts. Week five. Come on, man. Damn, I don't like being on all these other sides of AB though, because. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, look, we can go down to hey, we can go down to Florida, baby. We're going down to Florida. Crib. Hey, the crib. We got Miami Dolphins going down to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Um, <clears throat> his favorite hit nine and a half points. Um, who you got in this one, D-Bot? Man, uh Dolphins, man. Dolphins, Jacoby. They went went had a dog fight with the Raiders, lost in overtime, then went and got whooped up on by our coach last week to give us our first victory. Um, Bucks came. It's close to losing last week. I think the Bucks come out with a vengeance this week, and they put some points. They make a statement at home. I, I like the Bucks to win this game, and I like the Bucks to cover the nine and a half point spread. Who you got? I'm with you right there, brother. I got the okay, Bucks winning and covering. Okay. okay, there we go. There we go. All right, let's go. New Orleans favored by two and a half. They are two and two at the Washington football team coming off a big, big late win over the Falcons last week. Washington football team also two and two. Uh, it's a tough one right here, brother. To say. It is, man. Yeah, I'm going to underdog again right this here, week, bro. though, man. Who you going with? I'm, no, I'm not. I'm taking the Saints, though. I'm taking the Saints money line. I don't know about these points, though. I think it's going to be a very close game, like a field goal that – Who you got, man? I got watched the football team, man. Like you Damn. said, I don't know. I don't know who the we, we don't know who the Saints are, you know. Um since week one, um, they haven't really looked like week one. You know, they, they got the, another win, but it was tough. So again, I, I mean, watching football team doesn't look great either, but them playing at home. Um hopefully that front four can kind of get it together, and put some uh, pressure on Jameis and company. But I'm going with Washington football team. I got them winning and covering. Yeah, all right. So I'm going with the Saints here to win, and I got the football team against the spread. So yeah, there we go. Watch uh, Saints win. Watch the football team against the spread. <sighs> Tennessee, Jacksonville. Tennessee coming off an embarrassing loss against the New York Jets. Uh, they get one of their top dogs at receiver back, AJ Brown. Julio Jones is out. They are still favored by four and a half points over the winless Jacksonville Jaguars. 
Uh, hmm. Jacksonville may get their first win divisional game. You got all this chatter about Urban Meyer. I think the players might come out and make a statement. Yeah, but he, I got Tennessee he, winning. Um, <laughs> I got Tennessee winning. <laughs> I got Tennessee winning. I got them covering. I think Derrick Henry goes off for another monster, a monster game. He is. He's a monster. Period. But um. Uh, yeah, I got to go Tennessee, Tennessee as well. I feel like with Jacksonville this week, like you said, you spoke on it. It's gonna go one. It's going one of two ways. Either they come out and they galvanize and, and rally yeah. the troops, and they go out and ball and make a statement and get a win at home. Because last game, Trevor Lawrence did play well. Probably yeah. had his best game as a pro. They obviously had a lot of rest since it was a Thursday night game. Some people stayed back and enjoyed their time a little more than others. Yeah. But uh, or it can go the other way, and they could just. Shit the bed, be, but and I'm Urban not, might be fired by Monday. So I might are you switch it over. My, I might switch over, man. I'm saying, man, I, I you been in them locker this, rooms. Obviously, where, this obviously, this really, this is a tough one, honestly. Where like you been in locker rooms where everybody down you, and the guys is like, man, effort. Like we gonna we gonna stick together. We gonna go out here. We gonna shock the world. I got the Titans. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. <laughs> I got a Titans win. Hey, I'm with you. I'm but with you. I'm gonna take Jacksonville. I'm gonna take Jacksonville to cover, though. Nah, I got Tennessee cover. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna take Jacksonville to cover. Denver Broncos at the not. I'm tripping. Detroit Lions at the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Lions also 0 and 4. Vikings 1 and 3. It's like they they they're probably the best one and three team in the league right now, in my opinion. Get Dalvin Cook back, I think. They're actually favored by 10 points in this game. Divisional yeah. game. I was surprised by this line. Um, who you got in this one? I got Minnesota winning, but I got Detroit Lions covering. Like you said, Same. divisional divisional game. I think they're gonna go out there and um they're gonna play them tough. I think 10 points is a lot um in this matchup. So I got Minnesota winning, but I got Detroit, I got them covering. Yeah, I'm with you. Panay Sewell is out there. Um, their rookie tackle, he'll be out. But I think Detroit Lions, I think they cover that spread, that 10 spread. But the Vikings win the game. Yeah, um, yeah. And this one has switched. Uh, earlier in the week, Pittsburgh was favored. Uh, I think Teddy Bridgewater is probable. So, you know, most nine times out of 10, you're going to play if you get a probable in the injury report. Nine times out of 10, you get a doubtful, you're not going to play. So he'll probably come back from that concussion. Broncos are favored by a point and a half. Um, on the road against the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are one and three. If they yeah. lost this game to the Broncos, I think this would be their third consecutive home loss in Heinz Field. Uh, who you got in this one? Denver Broncos. I have them winning. I have them covering. It's not looking good for Mike T, hometown cat, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. So I'm going to go with different Broncos going in there, getting that win. And cover. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, brother. Broncos win, Broncos cover you. Let me down last week against the Ravens, but I think you bounced back. Right Appreciate that. Appreciate this that. This week, man. Two, three, and one ball clubs. The Green Bay Packers favored by three on the road against the Cincinnati Bengals led by yeah. Joey Franchise. Good quarterback matchup here, man. A Rod, OG. And then you got an up and coming Joe Burrow, man. Young Ghana. Team loves, the city loves. I feel like the league loves. Honestly, it's one of these young stars, the quarterback, man. Uh, but like I said earlier, Packers favored by three points. No. Where are you leaning this one? Hey, you know, typically in the past, we wouldn't be sitting here saying this is good, this is a tough matchup. But you know, the Bengals been playing really, really good this year. Um, I'm gonna go Green Bay. I'm gonna go Green I'm with Bay you. on this one. Um All right, Green Bay too. And I think it's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be a tough game. And I got Green Bay covering as well. Okay. Green Bay. I'm taking Green Bay. I'm taking Green Bay with the points as well. Joe Mixon will be limited. Uh, he's they're saying he's going to play, but he's going to be limited in some capacity. So I think that'll hurt the Bengals a little bit. But big-time weapons on that outside, like I said, big-time quarterback. Who uh, and, and I feel like he's one of those quarterbacks, you know, playing with luck, even as a young guy. I felt like he was just one of those guys where – the team felt like we were always in it with that guy yeah. in the center. And I feel like that's how the Bengals feel with Joey Burrow. So, you know, I would be shocked if they, you know, pulled it upset. But going with A-Rod in the uh, Packers in that one with you. So here, man, you got New England Patriots. 
you know, coming off a tough loss against uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, going down to Ace Town. Who you got in this one? Time. Run them boys down there eating that Papa Joe's. Mm -hmm. um, eight and a half point spread to one and three ball clubs. I'm taking the Patriots to win. Yeah. A lot of question marks on that Patriots offensive line. Right now, some COVID, some injuries, some other things. Um, damn, eight and a half points. <laughs> now, Texas just – they're coming off a 40-point loss against the Bills. So, I, you know what? I'm going to say the Patriots win, Patriots cover. Ooh, I'm I got say Patriots, Patriots win, Patriots cover, yeah. I got Patriots winning. I think Houston going to cover. Okay. Yeah, they, I mean, Davis Mills just so – he showed me nothing last week. It was ugly for him. Um, it couldn't stop a nosebleed, couldn't keep a, a, a sustain the drive. Patriots coming off a tough loss, a moral victory for some, not for me. Tough, tough not loss. Mac Jones, I feel like grew a little bit last year or last week. Pause. Uh, I think they win. I think the Patriots cover. So we're on opposite page with that one. Woo! I think we're gonna be on opposite sides in this one too. We we will. We will. <laughs> Chicago Bears, two and two Chicago <laughs> Bears at the Las Vegas Raiders, who are sitting at three and one coming off their first loss on Monday night football at the hands of the young legend Justin Herbert. Uh the Raiders are favored by five and a half points. Justin Fields named the starter for the rest of the season. Bill Lazor is calling the plays. I'm rolling with Jay Fields on this one. Jay Money. Let's okay, get it. Okay. Raiders okay. lose back-to-back -back games. A lot of injuries in that secondary for the Raiders. I got the Bears, man. Plus man, I got the Raiders. Half. I got the Raiders. And all I'm going to tell you is, man, Chip Khalil Mack, he's going to be coming out with vengeance. He's going to be coming out ready to rock. So Chip that man. But I got the Raiders, man. They playing at home, um, coming off their first loss, man. I got them winning and I have them covering. No David Montgomery uh, for the Bears either. He's he's out. So um, it'd be more on Justin that, Fields' plate. That Raiders front. The Bears don't want nothing to do with that. Raiders front is scary. But I got the young kid. And I'm going with the young kid here too. 3-1 and one Cleveland Browns at the 3-1 and one Los Angeles Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers favored by two and a half points. Now this game actually started last week with the Browns being favored by a point and a half. I should have jumped on this earlier. And now it's shifted all the way to two and a half on the Chargers side. Going with the young kid, Justin Herbert, over Baker Mayfield, who's still dealing with that torn labrum. Jarvis Landry's out. Me, me and you both know he's kind of the heart and soul of that offense of that team. Yep. Odell still don't look like he's on the same page with Baker yet. That defense is scary, though, but I'm going with the Chargers here. Who you got? I'm with you right here, man. Um, I know you talk a lot about your young guy. I'm going to go with him uh, this week. I like what, you know, um, the Chargers defense is doing, led by, you know, Durbin, Durbin James. Um, so I'm going to go with them as well. I'll go with the Chargers, and I got them covering. Okay. I'm with you. I guess got to cover by a field goal. Um, the only thing that scares me is that rushing attack that the Browns have. They do. And that that that, that – questionable run defense that the Chargers has been trotting out there so far. But, um, you know, we can see if there's some things change this week. So I, we both got the Chargers. We're both on the same page there. New York Giants, one and three, coming off their first victory last week over the Saints. Saquon looked like he's looking like he's back. He's back. <laughs> uh, at the Dallas Cowboys, who looking like they're back as a, as, a, as a squad, as a team. Cowboys favored by seven points this week at home. Who you got? Man, I got the Cowboys winning. I hate to say it, but uh, they look good, man. Complimentary football, man. Uh, opportunistic. Dak got the boys rolling on the offensive side of the ball. So I got Dallas Cowboys winning. Um, but I think it's going to be a tough matchup. And I have New York Giants cover. Close. Close game. I'm expecting a close one as well. Daniel Jones has been playing well. He's coming off his best yeah. game of the season through for 400 of them things. With his top two dogs at receivers banged up, so uh, very impressed by his performance. Uh, I'm going the same. Uh, Cowboys win, Giants cover. Another good one, another good one. Divisional matchup here. You got San Francisco 49ers coming in at two and two, going down to Arizona. Only undefeated team left in the league. Arizona, 
favored by five and a half. D Bug, who you got in this one? Ha, ah, you know, I've been going back and forth with this one, honestly, because Trey Lance, I mean, you got a new quarterback. He's going to be starting, new game plan. Um, But damn, damn, Colin, cool. that. Yeah, Ka- Colin, the boys look too good, man. Colin, the boys look now. too good. I'm going with the Cardinals. Uh, Cardinals win, Cardinals cover. Two of my former teams, man. Um, I love it on the West Coast, but, hey, I'm going with Arizona. Like you said, Colin and company, man, playing really well. Um, I don't see them losing. I got them covering as well. Okay, okay, okay. You don't see them losing. They're going 17 0? I don't see them losing this game. Oh, my apologies. Oh, oh. I don't see them losing this game. <laughs> my apologies. Say, breaking, breaking, breaking. But we got two, whew, two phenomenal young quarterbacks. Um, two good teams, two Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. Both, uh, no, actually, the Bills are three and one, Chiefs are two and two. The Chiefs are also favored by three points at home. I told you this last week who I was going with. Buffalo uh, Bills will win this game. You might have picked this one on Monday. <laughs> um, quick. <laughs> yeah, quick. quick. So, uh, hey, look, okay, man, Sunday Night Football. Yeah, that Kansas City defense, man, they got to come and play, man. Like, you, like we've been talking about Buffalo Bills, they've been dropping 40 bombs on people like it's nothing. So, I got 40, Buffalo Bills. I got Josh 40? Allen. I think it was what, 43, 40, 43, 35, 40 something. Yeah, it's hey, a lot, got, a lot to a yeah. little. Week back, I back got to the back. Bills, week. Baby. I got the Bills too. I got the Bills winning this one. So obviously, both of us picking the Bills plus three. I hope this is not one of those games we did as wrong. Where, hey. where the Chiefs just come out and just hey. on fire. But hey, that's what it is. We on the Bills. That's what it is. You gotta play the game. Got to play the game. One and three Colts at the three and one Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens at home, favored by seven points. We'll make this one quick and painless. We're going with the Ravens. I'm picking the Ravens. I, you know, this is one I want to be wrong about. But I think the Ravens will win this game. I think the Ravens cover the spread as well. Me too. Let's make it quick. Me too. I'm sorry, Colts right. fans. All right. Sorry. We out of here. And just to re- recap these uh, records real quick, uh, I. Running through my first six and ten last week, nine and seven against the spread, thirty four and thirty one money line uh, on the season, thirty three and thirty two against the spread so far. A B, A B. You know I was eight and eight last last week straight up, eight and eight against the spread, thirty five and thirty um, throughout the season so far against the spread, and forty and twenty five straight up. So hopefully we can keep this thing going. Yes, sir. Hey, so that's it, man. Don't forget to hit that mailbag, db22ab41 at gmail.com. We'll see y'all on Monday, man. Enjoy yes, your sir, weekend. Man. Enjoy your Sunday. You know, hopefully you make some money this week. And even if you don't, enjoy the games, man. Yes, sir. Y'all Be safe out there. Yes, Peace. sir.